Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Scorpio. So we have, wow, we have miracle. So you guys have a miracle that's coming in or manifesting. It's coming your way. A miracle, a miracle is coming your way and it's just around the corner. So don't lose hope. Trust that all is unfolding beautifully in your life without delays. Mm, you have the empress or the emperor. You're transforming into the empress or the, emp the emperor. You will feel more confident, looking better, and realizing your own worth and standing up for what you deserve. No more settling for less. And we have abundance here. Your manifestations are about to start paying off abundantly. You are long overdue for some great financial rewards and you are finally being rewarded. And then we have discovery. You will continue, you will discover within you the immense knowledge and skills that remain undeveloped, unlocking the magician within you that will lead to emotional fulfillment and newfound confidence. I feel like there's a manifestation that's about to come in for you guys and it's going to show you that you are more powerful than you thought you were. Um, that you can really manifest anything that it is that you desire, like, but you have a confirmation of that coming in. And it's like, some of you guys have maybe been trying to manifest something and you guys haven't, like, it hasn't been coming in or you haven't really seen any evidence of like the manifestation, like in the works or anything like that. But spirit says like, once this comes in, it's going to show you that you are like a powerful manifester. Spirit says you are the magician. You've always had this in you, but it's possibly probably because you're stepping into this empress or emperor energy, like. It's like, whatever this is, is going to really make you feel like you're the shit or like you really are powerful. You really are gifted. Like you really, you know, whatever. Like there's something that's about to show you that you, you are able to manifest what it is that you desire. We have action on the back of the deck. It says you no more overthinking. You're breaking the cycle of inaction and finally getting something done. You will set your plans in motion and realize action is the only way to move forward in life. Ooh, and marriage on the back of the deck. Why do I feel like this isn't you though? Because the back of the deck energy is usually like the underlying energy. So there's about somebody that's about to like realize that if they don't take action to do something, something's never going to happen. So I don't know if some of you guys have like been taking like a more passive, like you guys have maybe been trying to manifest something, but like not actually like taking action towards a certain person or thing. You're like maybe like just knowing your worth and kind of just sitting in that. You know what, maybe some of you guys have stopped settling in a situation and you're like, you're standing, if you, you feel like somebody can't give you or you feel like something is beneath you or something or so, somebody or something can't give you what it is that you really deserve or a job's not paying you as much as you think your, your skill level or something like that. You're no longer settling for that. It's like you're standing your ground or something like that. And there's somebody here that feels like if they, they're starting to realize or they're about to realize that if they don't take action towards you, that it's not going to happen like you're not going to be taking action towards them because you know your worth so somebody has like been doing a lot of overthinking when it comes to you and they've been being very like passive like when it comes to this connection with you like not really taking any action to like move things along with the two of you like it's like they like think a lot about like the future that they want to have with you or plans like for the future or something like that but they're starting to, I don't know if they were relying on you to like bring this together or to, it's like they were like kind of leaving it all up to you, but now you're not doing it because you're like, no, I deserve somebody that is going to co-create with me, build a life with me. And if they're not trying to do that with me, then I'm not, they're not worth my time and energy. So somebody's about to take action towards you uh, because you're not, you're not, they don't, they're realizing that you're not going to do it. Because there's maybe some type of cycle that you don't want to repeat with this person. We do have marriage on the back of the deck. So it says you may get engaged or commit yourself to something or someone because you feel in your heart to be right. You're ready to give it, give your all to something you can emotionally and deeply connect with. So somebody is thinking marriage with you and taking a leap of faith to have this with you. Some of you guys may view it, view you like choosing to be with this person and to settle down with this person as a leap of faith. Okay. Um, we have deep down, you'll know the key to creating the life of your dreams is on the, on the other side of fear. It won't be easy to take a leap of faith into the unknown, but just remember the universe will catch you. I feel like this is somebody else. This isn't you. Somebody's about to take a action and take a leap of faith towards you because they view you as somebody that they want to settle down with and that they've been being guided towards you. Yeah, a flood of opportunities are coming your way, giving you many choices. Some of you guys, you will have options, but there's like one person, because Spirit says, says deep down, you'll know the key. So it's like you guys may have options and paths before you, but like deep down, you know which one you feel is like the right one. 
Yeah, listen to your inner voice and let your soul make your decision. Expect to be busy. Yeah. Your guides have also been trying to guide you or show you like which path you should take or something like that. And it has something to, somebody is coming towards you. That's all I can say, guys. This, this isn't somebody that you got to go out and find. This isn't anybody that you got to go out and chase. Like somebody is coming towards you. And it's like, you're kind of giving them, how do I say that? You're giving them the space to do this because this is somebody that maybe you're no longer chasing or you're no longer putting in all the work and you're no longer reaching out to them first. And you're in a receptive energy. You're stepping more into like a feminine energy, which that's probably why the Empress is here. You know, whether you're a masculine or a feminine, you're like kind of maybe embodying a more um, feminine energy where you're, I don't even like that word passive, but you're being more like receptive. Let's put it that way. Cause the feminine energy is receptive energy. The masculine energy is the, the action oriented energy. So somebody, it's almost like by you stepping, I was talking about this. I don't know whose reading it was that I was, I might've been the collect the last collective reading, but it's like, you guys are stepping more into a, a feminine energy. And it's so like when you were dealing with somebody or in a situation, you were more in your masculine energy. Like I said, whether you were a feminine or a masculine, you were more in your masculine where you were putting in all the work. You were doing the chasing. You were taking the initiative. And this person was more in their feminine energy and kind of just expecting you to kind of cater to them and give to them and do all the work. Well, you're like, no, I deserve to be, you know, I want something balanced. And if they can't give me something balanced, I don't want it. You know what I mean? Or. So I feel like you guys have kind of stepped into the, like, you're kind of matching this, the energy that this person was in where they, like, you're like, well, if you don't put any, any work, I'm not either. Oh, you're not reaching out to me. I'm not going to reach out to you either. Um, you know, you're not taking any initiative. I'm not going to either. And it's like, this person doesn't, they're not liking it, but it's kind of forcing them into their masculine energy to have to step up and take the initiative if they want this with you. All right. So it's like, you're giving them the space to do so because you were so, so much in your masculine energy. It, it's like... And I know you were doing it because this person was in their feminine, but it's just because if you're dealing with somebody that's like being very uh, pass or a uh, low effort with you, that doesn't mean you put in more effort. That means if they're not get putting in any effort, that doesn't mean that you try to overcompensate for them. No, that's, that's the wrong thing to do. That means you just take a step back. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing. So we have the Ace of Wands in reverse here. Ooh, the Seven of Wands. Who's somebody's guarded here? The King of Pentacles in reverse. See, I feel like you guys are about to um, possibly reject somebody here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now we have the Ace of Swords. So, I yeah, you guys are standing your ground here. You're in. You're setting boundaries. You're protecting your energy. You're not really taking any initiative or any action here. You're not really pouring any energy into this person. This person is really, yeah, they're in the King of Pentacles in reverse energy. Maybe you're not doing this because you don't see this person as somebody. How do I say this? You don't see this person as somebody that is worth get, doing this for. And I feel like you guys see this clearly now. This person is very possessive over you. Um, they're just really not anybody that's a good investment here. They... They're very greedy. They're not financially stable. They don't have their shit together. Okay, tell me more about this person. Ooh, they hurt you. Yeah, painful ending. But what's the eight of wands? Release of Somebody's about to release their fear of reaching out to you. And why are they afraid to reach out to you? Yeah, the, the ace of swords could be you finally hearing from this person. A breakthrough. Because I did see breakthrough on the back of that deck. Yep. What did that card say? It says, there's an unexpected breakthrough happening in some area of your life. Faded events, unexpected messages, heavy on that. Shocking love developments, I mean, anything can happen. So that's what's about to happen. What's behind that? It has something to do with a soulmate, somebody that's coming towards you. A soulmate connection is making its way to you. Keep your heart open and don't fear letting love in. See, that's why I'm also feeling like you guys are going to feel like if you do choose to like do some, be with this person, it's going to be require a leap of faith because... You guys are very guarded towards them. And I feel like they're taking a leap of faith here too. But yeah, know that you are being divinely guided to be in each other's lives. So, yep. It says there's, and then you'll have a decision to make. Yeah, there's some kind of decision that will need to be made. Whether this is a job, a business, or love. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that for some of you. It could have something to do with work or business. 
Um, anyways, it says, don't delay making a decision, waiting for the perfect time. You'll end up missing out. Hmm. Learning. I don't know, guys. I feel like this is somebody that feels like they need to hurry up and make up their mind about you. Because they're starting to realize, like, if the longer they take while they're in the overthinking and procrastinating, the further you're getting away from them. The bigger, the greater the chance that somebody else will snatch you up. And they know that you're this empress or this emperor. And, of course, they don't want to lose that. But you got to also consider that this person is the king of pentacles in reverse. Or that's at least how you see them. This person definitely did hurt you. You did have a painful ending with them. They did betray you in some way. Or something happened here. You you have wounds from this person. Um, I feel like the connection didn't work out between you and this person. Um, but you are about to hear from them. They're releasing their fear to reach out to you. And what is that leading to? See, what about the five of pentacles in reverse? The three of pentacles. They're going to want to try to work on trying to bring this situation out of the cold. Like restoring the situation, overcoming this situation that you guys are in right now, collaborating, coming together. But why is the two of pentacles in reverse? <laughs> the page of pentacles, I mean the page of cups. What about the, maybe this person wants to, what is the two of pentacles in reverse? The eight of swords in reverse. Okay, and what's that to do with the two of pentacles? The world. The judgment card. They, somebody's made a final decision about something. Somebody who had a fear of leaving behind like their, the single life or being a player or something like that. But um, I feel like somebody, if they had something else going on to the point where they couldn't commit to you, they're ending that situation. We had the world that just came out. A cycle has ended. I feel like this person wants to apologize to you. Or they know that they owe you an apology. What is the Page of Cups? What's the Page of Cups? The Knight of Cups in reverse, though. Mm, I don't like that. What about the Eight of Swords in reverse? They want to reconcile, but why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? I don't feel like they're looking at things differently. But why is the Chariot not in reverse? They're maybe looking at something differently when it comes to whoever this other person is that they were committed to. What's this have to do with um, my collective, though? Uh, I don't know about this person, y'all. The Ten of Who mm. is this person losing sleep about you walking away from them and you ending up married or in another commitment or something like that? Um. Let's move away from this for a second. Um, what do I want to use? Hmm. Tell me more about the energy that this person is in. How do they know who this person is? The I'm telling you, you're about to hear from somebody. We have the communicator. They value clear and honest communication, need to feel they can express themselves, very easy for them to open up. So somebody's coming towards you, definitely wanting to talk, definitely wanting to be more open, definitely wanting to express themselves. And they're going to be very like to the point with you. And it looks like they're being honest. Uh, the ice queen. Yeah. Love has to make sense. Too level headed to easily fall in love. Never puts up with anyone's bullshit. I feel like that's your energy. A natural flirt who exudes confidence. They can woo anyone they desire. Subtle, charming with, with a playful allure. Ooh, so this person's flirty. What's that do with their situation with uh, my collective, though? Codependent. Ooh. Yeah, unhealthy attachment to partner. Sacrifices themselves for another. Feels worthless unless they are needed. See, this is maybe what you guys have been struggling with. Yo, the gateway lover. The gateway cart was in that deck, too. Perfect, but something is missing. Prepares you for your true... Ooh, helps you heal and open your heart. What? So... Helps you heal and open your heart. Prepares you for your true... Perfect, but something is missing. So... What does this have to do with this connection that's coming through? This person that's thinking marriage. The secret. So somebody's watching you from afar, but some of you guys are dealing with somebody else. There's another person in the mix here. Either they're dealing with a gateway lover, like somebody who like, they may like, things may not, I don't know. There's something like, you, you guys could be dealing with somebody because the gateway card came through 
a flood of opportunities are coming your way, giving you many choices to venture on a new path. Listen to your inner voice. You guys have somebody that's coming towards you where, like, they won't be a bad person. Like, they'll be very... They could be this person. Like, they could be very... Like, they could be have a good job. They could have... You know, they could be a good person, right? But it's like something is missing. Some of you guys are struggling to move into your feminine energy. I'm telling you where it's like, you guys have somebody that's coming towards you. I don't know how to explain this. There is somebody watching you from afar, choosing to remain anonymous, admiring from afar, not ready to re reveal their true feelings. Okay, what about, what else about this person? We have, ooh, the wild one. Mm -mm. They bring a lot of fun and excitement can be unpredictable and destructive. Uninhibited un sexual experiences. So you got somebody that's watching you that is like, I told you, is a player or they, they're they promiscuous and they can be very like, you don't know what to expect from them. And they can be very, they, this is the one that's probably hurt you. Ooh, the devil becomes too engrossed in a relationship, battling addiction or bad habits, negative influences or thought patterns. So what about this other person, this gateway lover, the fool in love? Oof, they fall deeply in love, will go above and beyond to prove their love. Love has often made a fool out of them. The powerful woman, the avoider, and the lone wolf. I'm telling you guys, there's somebody that's about to be head over heels in love. There's somebody who is in love with you, right? There's somebody that's head over heels in love with you, or that will be, who's going to be kind of going out of their way for you, or will be, but it's just, you know, what? The, oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, before I go into that, who is who is the person that's communicating? The just a friend. They prefer to be friends first, pref prefers to establish a solid foundation. They keep romance last. What about that? The communicator, just a friend, the rusher, and the fixer. Mm. Who's, about to, who's reaching out to them? The mysterious one. Okay, tell me more. And the servant. Huh. But they're just a friend. The rebound. Ooh. They to get over their ex, distracting themselves from pain. The just so this could be somebody that's a different race than you. This could be just me picking up on all these different options that you're gonna have. Who is the significant one that they're receiving communication from? They feel they're the prize to be won. They treat partner as a status symbol, flaunts their partner among friends. One more. The friends with benefits uses partner for specific reasons. Just want sex and to skip the relationship. Hasn't found what they're looking for. Okay. Family oriented. What's that do with my collective though? The groupie seeks to ach achieve status by having sex. Will do anything to get, get near their partner. Often obsessed, shallow or lustful intent. Lord. So you guys are about to hear from this person that's lustful. Who's watching you from a distance right now who is probably gonna about to love bomb you. They are very family, but they're very full family, devoted to their family. That is not always like, maybe not in a good way, toxic family. Yeah, maybe this is somebody that listens to their family's opinions when it comes to dating and how they should live their life. They are very devoted to their family. Family's opinion is important when dating. But this person is very egotistical. They think that they're God's gift to earth and they really aren't trying to have anything serious. But they'll do anything to kind of try to convince you to let them, you know, in. But this is somebody that's watching from a distance. They definitely have like a sex addiction or some type of addiction, toxic habit. But there's somebody else here. This is the energy that I feel like you guys are in. Where you guys are kind of just focused on your, ho your home, your kids, business. Like looking good. Spending time alone, being single, you're not going to just let be open up very quickly. Like you're like kind of in like an avoided energy, guarded and hard to trust anyone. Result of fear rather than indifference. Spoils relationship to prove it isn't real. Be careful of self-sabotaging. But you do have somebody that's maybe, I feel like this is you guys. I'm telling you. What is the, uh, the flirt? Master flirt? The procrastinator. 
partner waits a long time for commitment delays love for as long as they can they often off they often promise but don't deliver there's that soulmate card again i'm telling you guys i know you guys are gonna hate me for this but your soulmate is this player i'm telling you your twin your soulmate whatever you want to call it yep dates multiple people at once hard to keep their attention likes to weigh different options that's who it is and this person's about to reach out to you with what energy though that's what i need to know yep we'll have a lasting impact on your life values are total ready to meet their soulmate i don't know guys your soulmate is this per this player so what's about to happen here with this person why do i feel like you guys have some other people that are really into you like they're like enamored with you but you don't even want those people or you're just not really like getting so close to them so easily or so quickly um what do I want to look to see? So what do they need to know about this person? You guys are kind of in like a scorned energy or something like that. You're just kind of like, this person, that's how they view you. I don't know. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm telling you, ego-driven. Acts on one's own self-interest, driven by a need to prove oneself better than others. Does not truly love the person, but loves more more what they the person gives. So again, I feel like what I think is about to happen here, guys, is this same person that's very egotistical and thinks that they're the shit. Um, you guys are about to realize that you are actually the shit, and they're not shit. Does that make sense? Because i think you guys see that now i feel like for a while you guys were like putting this person on a pedestal or something but now you guys see that you were always the prize you were always the gift and this person has never been like that's almost what i'm getting here and it's like i feel like you're about to hear from them and you're going to reject this person and stand your ground because they're can you imagine thinking that you're the shit and you're the king of pentacles in reverse don't hit your broke you, you don't probably don't even you're unstable you live on your family's couch like there's just this person that has nothing to offer but they are very they think that they are and they're very selfish with their actions here but i think you see all of this now all right and so now that you see all of this about this person you no longer that you've you you've taken that person off the pedestal all right this person's no longer on the pedestal so now when they come towards you you're like Tuh. You know what I mean? You, I'm on the, I'm the pedestal. You know what I mean? Like, and I do think this person does possibly deep down put you on the pedestal, but they're so ego, they put you on it, but they're so egotistical. They may never want to admit that to you or they don't act like it, but mm, I'm telling you, there's about to be a breakthrough because this person's about to reach out to you. And with the Ace of Wands reverse, you guys are going to either ignore this person or reject them. Because they're definitely trying to come towards you to have some type of friends with benefits type relationship or something like that. We have winter time. So it says December 22nd through February 6th. What about it? Cycle. See, I'm telling you, didn't I say? Dysfunctional, unstable, hurtful, toxic. Same scenarios keep occurring, but unable to learn unnecessary lessons. Predictable, repetitive cycle of breaking up and getting back together again. Tell me more about what this means for that time frame, winter. And now we have summertime. See, August 6th. So maybe August 6th, 6th through September 21st. What about it? See, this person's very triggered. They were very triggered. I get so emotional when your name comes up. When I see some, when I, or when I see something that reminds me of you, you triggered something inside of me that caused me to feel uncomfortable in my own skin. I don't understand these emotions. Okay. So now what? <laughs> Pisces energy. I had an idealistic view on what a relationship should look like. You challenged that perspective and made me question my whole value system. I didn't understand what you were trying to teach me, but I do now. Okay, so again, what does that mean for winter? Cancer? I was always so hot and cold with you, and I know that was confusing. Our connection was too much for me to handle, and that was the only way I could deal with it. I don't know, guys. Maybe, like, you and this person... Hmm... Yeah, I don't know if this was love or if it was, I was in love with the idea of being in love. Our connection was all too consuming. I can't wrap my head around it. I don't know. Tell me more about winter. 
I am wearing a mask by appearing happy and serene in front of others. When I'm alone, I'm thinking about you and realize I was my true authentic self when I was with you. What's this have to do with summer? New beginnings and inner turmoil. Is it this person's worried about you having a new beginning? Fresh start with an open mind, knowing where you lacked in the past and using what using that to create success. Allowing yourself to accept changes that might bring good things to you. Doubting and questioning decisions. Fight between the mind and the heart. Feeling worried, conflicted, agitated, and unhappy with life's choices. Hmm. So does somebody, oh, somebody started feeling really regretful in the summertime. I think I made a mistake. I should have never let you go. I should have stayed and fought for our connection, but I was weak and fearful. Now I'm here mourning the loss of you. Yeah, they have like somebody else, karmic partner. Yeah, I don't know. They made some type of, okay, so what is, again, what's that do with upcoming, the winter time is coming. So what does that have to do? You have telepathic here. I feel you through everything. The things I touch, the images I see, and the voices I hear, we are connected throughout the universe, even if we are miles apart. We have tower moments on the back of the deck. Changes that are difficult but necessary for growth. Moments in life that pushes us to be better and do better because we just we deserve better. Something could be happening in Aquarius season. Huh. I don't know. Let's see. Give me more clues about what's up, what's coming here. Because I don't quite understand. Maybe nothing is happening. Maybe they're just telling you, like, what's going through this person's head. What's about to happen here? I mean, I do see the, I see the communication. I see the breakthrough. I see the rejection. I see the guardedness. What's about to happen here? I'm telling you guys, the player, the player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. So now what? Guys, I cannot. Intuition confirmed. Pedestal. On a pedestal. You're the queen of their heart. They're the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. I told you. They put you on a pedestal. They try not to, you know, they don't want you to know this. L but they're lustful guys there is a difference between love and lust don't let your desire destroy you overcome the spirit of lust so what's this mean for my collective breaking free they are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you why now why is that happening we have old wounds their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships so what's making them want to break free they're see oh a truth we are hoping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. Coldness. It's because you're leaving them behind. They feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you they're worth keeping. Yeah, they feel you slipping away from them. Yeah, they were, I'm telling you, didn't I say this? This person has been waiting for you. They've been waiting for you to come back to them. But instead, they feel you pulling away from them. And I told you, they're starting to realize that they don't take action towards you, that you're not going to take action towards them. So what is the energy that they're approaching them in, though? Because they're going to take action. There's telepathy again. The telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are solely leaving imprints upon their heart. Um, what, what energy is this person approaching my collective in? Past life. So it says intuitive. There, what is up with the telepathy? Intuitive and telepathic communication, time seems to stop in each other's presence. Instant connection and deep emotions feel very familiar with each other, okay? What are they, what about it though? For some of you, they're trying to just kind of pull on your energy. They're trying to like tele, send you telepathic communication to get you to come towards them. I want to commit to you. I want to hold your hand in sickness and in health. I want to walk into the sunset with you and never look back. I need to release certain commitments and fully come commit to you, okay? So it's like they're trying to like, I don't know, guys, that this person's going to be taking action towards you, like, right, I don't know. I see that, I see telepathic communication there. I see energetic connection. I see them, have, I see that they've decided. I see that they know they want to commit to you. Um, I see them watching you. I also see them trying to release certain things to be able to fully commit to you. Because right now, I think, I, like I said, I saw the world, that certain things are coming to an end in this person's life. Um, they're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. They do miss you, but this person had a fear of leaving behind their old life. Like they had a fear of leaving behind their old life. They made a lot of excuses. They definitely sabotaged this. Um, it's like they're realizing that they, ha they have no choice but to heal. So are they taking action or no? That's what I need to know. Courage. So yeah, they might. Willingness to confront agony, pain, danger, uncertainty, or intimidation, strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger. 
fear or difficulty. Yeah, they feel like time is running out. Hmm. I'm going to get a few more and then I'm going to take it over to the extended reading. Uh, what is that deck I was just using? Tell me more about this person's next actions. What's their next actions towards my collective? See, we have guarded here, though. Person's still very guarded, but I do feel like, what about resurrection? Coming apart. What about guarded, though? Hopeful. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Awakening. They are starting to awaken, and they are going to shoot their shot at some point. They definitely felt like you were too good to be true. Um, there's leap of faith again. What's after that? Watching you. See, they're trying, they're watching you until they work up the curse to come towards you and still kind of hoping that you reach out to them first. But as time goes on, they're going to start realizing that it's just, you're not going to do it. So, and it's like, as you, as more time goes on and you don't reach out to them, it's like their, e it's like their ego is slowly dying or they're slowly becoming more and more like emotional or vulnerable when it comes to you. Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they you lose their old identity. They're opening themselves to love, allowing, them, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. Yeah, it's like this person's gonna like fall in love, like more in love with you, or their emotions are going to increase over time. What you thought to be lost forever will come back, and you'll witness the impossible made possible. The awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. You know more. We have serendipity. See, that's the problem with this person. They just like, they're very like low effort and low action. Like they just, they, they're, they're kind of just hoping that the universe will bring the two of you together. But it's because this person knows that they hurt somebody that did not deserve to be hurt. Like they know that you, you had good intentions for them and they betrayed you. And you're not taking action towards them because you don't trust them. But they're just hoping and praying that somehow you guys, you'll let them back or come back or you'll come back or somehow the two of you will, you know, you'll forgive them or somehow the two of you will be able to be together. I don't know. To be together. I don't know. To be together. 